Good morning, my brother, my sister, wherever you are. Praise the Lord. Is it a wonderful day that the Lord has made for all of us today where we shall definitely rejoice and be glad in it. Today in part to become this wonderful morning, I'm talking about it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. And here, I want to specifically focus on an area that is important to all of us. All of us, one way or another, if you have been in a relationship with the Lord, there's a promise over your life. There's a prophetic word of, over, um, over your life, over a situation, you know. There's a promise. And many a times when I say it shall come to pass, I mean that that word that you have received, that promise that the Lord gave to you, it shall come to pass. And many a times we doubt if the Lord, whatever he promised, will come to pass. At times we doubt if what God has said shall be able to, to, shall, shall be able to manifest in our lifetime. But I tell you today that if the Lord has promised you anything, it shall manifest in your lifetime. And this begins today. I want you to have the courage and the mind and the belief and the faith that the Lord promised me something and it shall come to pass. And all the ways to make sure it comes to pass, my dear friends, is also our engagement, getting strength from this promise to engage in prayer. Getting strength from this promise to engage our faith, to engage our belief, to engage our action. But it shall come to pass is that I have an action that I have to do that is in line with the promise that, I, that I've received. What has God promised your family? What has God promised you? What is the Lord's word over your life? That word, my dear friend, shall come to pass. God doesn't speak for fun. If God has promised you something, it shall come to pass. And I read from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18, Paul tells Timothy this, This order I give to you, Timothy, my son, in harmony with the words of the prophets, in harmony with the words of the prophets about you, so that you, by them, you may be strong fighting the good fight. But you, by them, may be strong fighting the good fight another version says that by these words you may be mighty in in uh, you might be mighty in doing the warfare my dear friends when god has promised you something it shall come to pass and i don't want us to look around our lives and think as though it will not come to pass that god will change his mind or that god will not see it through or that it shall not come to pass no it shall come to pass but in harmony with that word if you receive that word that god will heal you then get into harmony with that word get into oneness with that word say this is my word this is my promise and because it's my promise then i shall use it to fight the good fight what the good fight my dear friends i will fight hopelessness by this promise I will fight depression by this promise. I will fight disappointment by this promise. I will fight the devil and the demons that want to stand before me by this promise. That word, that word gives you the strength that you need to be able to step out and fight that you may stand and receive that promise. Because remember when a promise of the Lord comes upon your life, the first thing the enemy does is to discourage that word, to discredit that word, and in the process to discredit you. But you may walk away and lose hope. But we are saying, but we get harmony. We are in harmony with this word. But this promise that has been given to me is not outside there. I possess the promise that I will live long. I possess the promise that I'll, that I'll be promoted. I possess the promise that I'll be made whole. I possess the promise. And because I possess the promise, I derive my strength from this promise that I may fight. That is the beautiful thing about God. He's a wonderful God. He's a loving Savior. There is nothing our Father cannot do. And I, and I believe that if you believe and you focus and believe strongly, but the promises given you shall not fail, then my dear friends, in the mighty name of Jesus, you shall succeed because that is where you get your strength. Let us pray. Almighty Father, thank you for brother, my sister, watching this today, Lord. I know you are faithful. I know you are good. I know you are loving. I know you are powerful. And I ask you today, Almighty Father, in the name of Jesus, may you minister to my brother, my sister outside there, Lord. May you give them the strength today, Lord, that they require, Lord. You have promised them something. You have promised a word in their life. There's something you have spoken about them, Lord. Lord, may this word come to pass. May this word come alive, Almighty Father. And may they build momentum from this promise. May they be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. They may be able to stand against uh, spiritual attacks. They may be able to stand, Almighty Father, against any form of demonic attack over their lives, Lord, psychological, spiritually, physically, financially. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, your son and your daughter shall see you manifest your glory in the fullness of time. In Jesus' name, praying thanksgiving. Amen. That is power to become, my dear friends, it shall come to pass. In your lifetime, it shall come to pass. See you again next time. Same, next time, same time. Have a blessed day.